everyone and welcome back to another installment of almost said slits <laughs> Why the viral podcast. welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host Paige jen and i'm your host chelsea lynn hey can we please turn my headphones down like ooh, at least a couple really decibels. am i being too loud just the whole process of the start of the song oh. should we restart no okay no. is that better oh did i swear already is no. that why no okay you didn't okay keep track of the sand t- all right timer. we got the sand going is that better Better? Yeah. How, how's everybody oh, thank doing? Thank you so much. Good. Good. How are y'all doing over there? Wonderful. Brett, are you mad? No, I'm not mad. He got to hit the pin, so he's happy. Yeah. He's happy. He's Way happy. Way better. He, he just hit the pin. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't get to hold it, though. Paige, are you okay? A little cold. Okay. A little chilly over okay. here. Well, Sipping hey, on chili dog. Can I just say, I'm doing great. You're looking good. <laughs> yeah. And guess what everybody else thinks. Right. What? They said that uh, you have malt leaky. Malt leaky, baby. Um, so what's been going on lately? Well, not much. I had to take a break from, from tugging on it because it got numb. Wait, what's the date what? today? Tugging? Brett. Brett. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What, what is today? What are you talking about? What do you want What's me? the calendar day? Or do you want to know when this is going to be posted or what is today? That's what I was, you know, saying. I, I don't even know. April 1st. April 1st, Brett. I never know what day April it is. Fool. Oh, it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Brett, we're, that was our April Fool's joke. Nice. We, saying we, well, we didn't know which day it was, so we got him. Damn. You guys got me, dude. Okay. Holy it, shit. I was wondering why you were asking that. I was like, that's the most random thing in the world. Brett, don't ever do that on April Fool's Day again. And Brett, come on, do better, man. <laughs> Should I lean forward now or? No. You, you, uh-uh, you don't lean forward. And I then I'll just not talk the rest of the time. Um, I do hear that April Fool's, uh-huh. what? there's like a lot more meaning to it. That's what I've been hearing on TikTok. I had never heard that. Tell them, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, tell us. Well, actually, I hear it's the actual first. It's like January 1st, April 1st. Because Jesus. You know. So basically, somebody yeah. on Tic Tac was saying that they threw in January and February as extra months to like throw off our frequency and all that. Yeah, uh, every month's supposed to be 28 days, I think. I don't know nothing about what According y'all are talking about. According to the old about. calendar. I n- don't know what y'all are talking about. Time. Just extra days and time. Oh, okay. The calendar is trippy. It's oh, changed, the calendar is yeah. a very weird it's so so weird. I get into those rabbit holes. That's what yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Just like because yeah, time is just a trip. Like who decides right? Why? And I feel like time is a fear <clears throat> tactic almost. So listen, Tennessee passed a law to where they're not going to do daylight saving time anymore. I heard that. But oh, they're wow. waiting on Congress to approve it. And they're dragging their feet. So it could be a few years before it actually goes into effect. And this is the time we're talking about. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Just they can decide the time. Uh Uh-huh. Right. Just the time is ticking. (laughs) Just very interesting. Mm -hmm. So maybe in a few years we won't have to do that anymore. And then the fact the days get shorter, the days get Mm -hmm. longer. It's like, what's going on? Is there a malt switchy flippy? Malt switchy, baby. Somebody's malt flippy. (laughs) (laughs) Just going and flipping. You know, Uh very interesting. Okay, cool. Oh, that's interesting. Well, happy... uh, Happy April Fool's. Happy April Fool's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just a day to lie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's a day to get got. It's a a day to get got, and it's a day to gotty. And say gotty all day. (laughs) Sorry. When I owned a call center, you know, when I had employees... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Can we talk about me? Yeah. 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 So it. I did an April Fool's joke where I'd um, call Mr. Bear. Oh, boy. From And they'd call the zoo, you know, a little, little fun work. Can y'all April imagine? Damn, jokes. dude. I'd be like, <laughs> Can y'all imagine Brett owning a call center? 
and working for this <laughs> motherfucker? No, bro. If Brett no. was your boss. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, call this number, Mr. Ain't, Lion. Ain't no way. You were probably honestly, I would fudge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you, we you, swore. No, you didn't. You said fudge. No, we did. We haven't sworn. Shit. I we? swear I I did. Sworn. Maybe. Well, we still got so we still got some time. Okay. Go ahead. Um, okay, Brett, back to call center. Mm-hmm. That yep. was it. You know, oh, okay. I, I'd have fun doing my little, you know, motivational talks too. Okay, I, I bet I bet you were good at that. I was kind of like you guys. I'd tell people to shut up all the time <laughs> and talking. Okay, That's just how it is. Cool. But would you say shut up? Or would you go no talking? No I, I would actually bark at them. I'd go. Hur! Oh. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. And then everybody would laugh. I'd quit. I'd quit. Brett, they laughed because they worked for you. They had to. They're not laughing because it's funny, brother. (laughs) Or just they don't want to hear I'd only do it if it was annoying. Like they were obviously like talking, like, you know. I want somebody to to call in that used to work for Brett and tell us their experience. (laughs) Yeah. One of them, his name was Son. Brett, if they wanted to hear barks, they'd probably go work at the vet or. Right. Do something with pets. Right. If your boss is going ar, ar, and barking <laughs> all day, dude, I'd be so fudging annoyed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you we guys. Have him. His name was Son Alejandro. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, don't give a first and last name, but okay. Well, I didn't give yeah. his last name. Oh, okay. But okay. sounded yeah. like it. And whose yeah. son? Ho- you Holly- met him at the. Uh, you, you met him at the. Uh, so we're Lifetime. son. And, so we're son and Alejandro, two different people. No, same guy. So first and last Because I'd see him, I'd be like, oh, so, no. Okay, first and middle? No, his name was Alejandro, but I call him, like I'd say, oh, what's up, son? Oh, uh, he, my gosh, well, that's no, embarrassing. He, that's no, that he, Mormon he mentality. Start, no, he started. That's he, he that go, Mormon mentality. He go, oh, son. I'm hey, like, Brett, you got to lean back, man. All right. Your dad just called. Was, yeah. <laughs> I just can't imagine working for Brett at a call center. I can't. I can't imagine Brett opening at his own business. I just. I don't know. I just can't. That's just wild. I just so. cannot uh, wrap my clit around it. Right. 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 <laughs> a call center. Right. Out of all things, just yeah. that's like call center. Dude, I had like the whole high school want to work for me. Really, it's pretty cool. Wanting to work for me. Yeah, it was right by there. It's good location. Aren't call centers just big scams, kind of? Brett, were you running a scam or was it? No, right? <laughs> we were calling people to get them to go to timeshare presentations. Oh, well, it's scams. So kind of scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scam. We couldn't say free. Okay. You know, uh, if you, you can't say certain words, scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's okay. You know, you know. Sometimes you got to scam. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Um, hey, I have been really digging into um, the Rock Truckers group on facebook Mm -hmm. and we have they've had some good posts in there that i have like asked i I said hey can i share this on the pod and everybody said yes so can i read some stuff from that oh you love reading Mm -hmm. (laughs) i well i guess i do like love reading Mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, you're right big reader is someone moving a bag around that's my code never wear a rain jacket uh, to any function with a mic my uh (laughs) headphones are sliding off my wig why are rain jackets the noisiest thing on the planet? It sounded like he had a grocery bag over there. I'm just yeah. literally like, what it, is that? It was making me go insane. Yeah. Okay, before I dig into this, let's, uh, we almost, the timer's almost out, so let's wait on that. Okay, ready? It should be going any time now. All right, here we go. Time All right, it's coming out. Time. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to go ahead and read. Brandy says, <clears throat> confession here. One time I farted into a coworker's Gatorade bottle and he drank it two minutes later. I didn't tell him about it until like a year later. <laughs> she should have asked him sooner to so like he could remember right. if he tasted it. Right. Unless exactly. it stuck with him. What, what did she say? That's well, that was it. And here's my thing. Did he not did he not get a whiff of that as soon as he opened up that Gatorade bottle? Maybe she just didn't get all the fart in. Right. She should have contained it better. And also, what'd you do that for? <laughs> who's do, who's yeah. doing oh, that hey, at I work? Didn't, I didn't think of that. <laughs> what'd you do that I for? I did not think of that. You know, what are you, what you doing? One time, uh, my teacher left his class, and one of the students went and spit a Logie in his Diet Coke. Oh, I And he came back and just oh, gonna, sucked that sucker And back. I hate when you say Logie. Okay, Logie. 
Oh God, I would. Gosh, why do people? How do you say that anyway? Loogie. Lo- okay. Is yeah. the timer off? No. Oh no, we still got a little minute. And then a bunch of the comments on the thread have s- nasty stuff that they've done. You want me to read it? Oh yeah. Britt says, oh, hold on, we got, here we go. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, nope, 10, 9. That's like two minutes left y'all, in that. Y'all, I don't, I don't like this thing. Okay. Well. Why, though? We don't it's want a 10-minute timer. We I don't got, want one that clicks, but we also don't want one that. I need one where I see the seconds going down. My mom said she has one uh, from a bakery, so she I'll have her mail it. I'm going to need that. Okay? We can almost cuss. Give us a second. We have another timer, but it goes... Five, four, three, two, one. Fuck you, Sam Covers. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck your timer. Mm-hmm. You big fat bitch. Ooh, that was good. I love that. That was a good one. That's one of my favorite things to say. (laughs) Yeah, you. I love saying that. Okay. And then Britt said, I had a cousin who would fart into Ziploc bags and leave them in our family members' freezers. They would not know what they are and open it and get farted on. (laughs) That's actually. Why the freezer? Because maybe you're more, like, willing to smell it. Like, what kind of food was in yeah. here? Can I reuse this bag? Yeah. I'd be so mad. Um, <laughs> oh, and then, my gosh. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And then Sam said, if it makes you feel better, one time I skeeted into a vape so my brother could vape it for a video. Then, three months later, he asked me to try a new vape juice he got. Turns out it was my vape juice from three months ago. Oh my I don't know what's weirder though Like the fact that the brother was willing To dr- to smoke his brother's con Right And then Crystal said When I worked as a barista A bunch of guys would fart in an empty caramel bottle And squeeze their air farts At unsuspecting customers At the register <laughs> <laughs> Whoa Oh my gosh dude Imagine just Smelling that. Imagine if you heard this pod and you're like, oh my gosh, I've been hit with one of those caramel puffed things. Stop it. Because just if you go up to, dude, mm-hmm. I want to do that to somebody. Mm-hmm. And in the rock fuckers group, uh, guess oh who's back? Uh, Fart man. Shady? Oh. Fart man. <sighs> Shane? Shane. He, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we have a, 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 f- a fan who loves to call and video chat with our podcast listeners and he loves to fart he slid into my dms i shared him as a dm of the day and he yeah and he freaking blast he he has a trumpet asshole so what i think he does and I, I don't know this for sure but what i think he does is he goes around and and messages all of our followers who comment and stuff like that and he'll be like hey do you want me to fart for you and a lot of these people are like Sure. Yeah. So they'll FaceTime, he'll set up the camera, and he'll fart for them. I didn't know mentioning <laughs> him on the pod was going to spread his farts, like, oh. worldwide. Oh, yeah. He And he goes after you. I remember sitting in line, like, waiting for my food, and he's just writing me on Instagram, please FaceTime me right now so I can fart. Loves like, to fart for people. Wow. He's like, I'll pay you if you just watch me mm-hmm. fart. He's back. He's back. Well, what's he doing? Farting? I would watch him fart. Farting for people. Um, Alex, uh, sh- and she she posted on the Rock Fuckers group. Fart man is back in action. She screen recorded. They Facetimed. He oh. set up his phone and he farted for her. And she was like, "Cool." Is he showing his face yet, or is he yeah. still blocking? I it? think he is. Huh. I think he showed his face on there. Because back in the day, that was his one thing. Please just don't show my face. He's showing it now. Wow, he's showing it. He made some scurrilla, and now he's yeah. showing. He's showing it. Wow. So he's back. Well, so welcome back, he- Shane. Yeah. yeah. Does he jack off to that after? I've never talked. I don't know. I think he just loves to fart for people. Let's get him on the pod. I know. We need to. Know, we he need can, answers. He can do some live farts for us. Oh yeah. God, we got to get him on the pod. Where does he live? We'll we fi- need a, a fart cam, and oh my, we'll, we, f- we'll yeah. figure it out. We'll just have a regular pod, and then he could be over there farting. 
tr- doing the trumpet. Yeah, he'll be the sound <laughs> bites. <laughs> and then the camera could just cut to him. I got to have a fan yeah. blowing so when he farts, I just hold it up so it goes away from me. <laughs> Chelsea hates farts, here. dude, more than most. I don't like, I don't want to fart in a small room. Don't yeah. fart by me if we're in a, like, and don't put your ass near me. No air Put it away from me. We'll have to do this one on like on a hot, hot summer day so we can keep the air op- the yeah. door open yeah. to get some flow. Yeah. Because well, this dude blows. I would like to have him on to do a live trumpet play for us. Oh, and yeah. And maybe say some words like he can say for some the words. questions yeah. we have. And then, yeah, for the most part, sit over there, do the ass bites. Right. I love that he... <clears throat> How do I... I love that he... <sighs> knows our, I love that he knows that our fans... Will watch his farts, and he they came, do. He came to the right group. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, he, he found them. He, he found them. <laughs> yeah, that's that what I'm was saying. a smart business move. Yeah, very smart to just start messaging everybody. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Gotti. Mm-hmm. He he got us all, and we're still talking about him. Loves to fart for people. So. I was actually thinking of him the other day. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's back. He's back. So he's back in action, dude. Love you, Shane. Yeah, we love you, man. We hope and to see you right there one yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you have a guess this sound? Yeah, funny you ask. One mm. second. Guess what? I do too. I have two of them. Yeah. How many do you have? Two. Perfect. You ready to do it? Yeah. Wait, do we have a song for that? Yeah. Guess this sound. I thought guess so. this sound, ma'am. There it is. Guess there it is. Sound. Here we go. Guess this sound. Huh? Ma'am. Guess this sound. It's my favorite sound bite that you've ever made. Thank you. You're I'm welcome. I'm going to try to get better one day. No, you did great. One day, one day. All right, is everybody ready? I feel like these are hard. It's just interesting because I don't know where all my sounds go. I feel like the ones I did for this are, they're simple things, but they sound hard. I've, I, I think struggle. I got a good one. She has good ears. I'm going to send it to you. You play it. Play it for you. Play yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You, play it and get us. Yes. Yeah, st- yeah. Start. You start it off. Let me find it. Okay. She going to find it. Okay, I have one. Do you want me to play mine? Hit it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Don't mind the birds. A lighter? Yep. Yes. Yep. Bow, 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 bow. Yes. Okay. Bow, bow. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, delayed. Okay, Maggie, you got yours ready or no? I do. Okay, hit it. Oh God, I'm scared. Here we go. Tilly snorts. Kevin snorting. That guy's eating your ass. <laughs> Hold on. Damn it, his snorts gave it away. That was Kevin eating an apple. Oh, you could hear his crunch. Maggie, he was eating an apple. A crunch. Oh, my God. I thought that would be a good guess this sound. Uh-huh. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> here we go. Hit it. And here we go. Brett's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, hell. <laughs> See, this sound. Okay, let me try it one more time. Listen closely. Damn, dude. Maggie, you got to chime in and help. It's something simple that we do probably five times, ten times a day, but it sounds hard. It sounds difficult. But oh, it's toilet paper. Yes. Oh, shit. Dude, good. Here, li- listen. Yeah. The ripping. Yep. The yep. ripping. Yep. Oh, fuck. Yep. I just could not hear it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. That, that was really good. All right. Paige is going again. Here we go. Nope, not yet. Well, yeah. I'm ready. Okay, here ready? we go. Yep. Here we go. Blowing a bubble. Closing a window. Close. Okay, ready? Something with your mouth. You're blowing something. Yeah. Blowing something. A wiener? Blowing a wiener. No. no. Blowing through a straw? No. Okay, want to keep hearing it? Let me hear it one more time. Okay. I 
I know roll in a window up or down. I know that ain't no queef. That's a queef. Uh uh-uh. uh. That was my queef. Jaqueef. Wait. Jafart. It was too squeaky. Too loose. Let me hear it again. I think maybe that came uh, out of your hole. Uh, yeah, vagina hole. Let me hear That's it again. A queef. That's what I was talking about a couple episodes back when I tried to fart but queefed. Oh, yeah. So me, and so that it. was the queef from this. Here you go. <sighs> Wait, why does wanna, it sound so whistly? Do you want to hear the whole thing? What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I said, listen to this. I think. Wait. Why is it so open? <laughs> Wait. That, oh, because I, I was spread open. Oh. Because I had to put Jafar. It, it's a hole. Did you thing. suck air up? I wasn't trying to. I was trying to fart, but Jaqueefed. Wow. <laughs> Jaqueefed. <laughs> Jaqueefed. All right, you ready for mine? <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Last hey, one. Hey, good guess, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo. All right, here we go. Last one. Guess this sound. God dang Girl, it. it sounds like you took a, a lot. shit and then piss came out of your ass. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Water? Is there any water fluids going? Cut, cutting potatoes and putting them in the water. <laughs> oh. Mixing something around like in water. Pumping uh, dish soap. Squirt gun. Uh-uh. Lots of noises, about four to five different noises. Play it again. Peeling something into water? All right, I'm going to say it. Say it. Drinking out of a water bottle. Hmm, Never Hmm. heard that one. Quite the sucker. (laughs) Oh, one of those pouches. Oh, that threw me off. That was, that was an intense song. That one had a lot of different sounds to it. That yeah. sounded like a stingray or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. a stingray. So that was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. That yeah. was really fun. Yeah. So, uh, so um, what makes you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of things. Um, Name five. Okay. Okay. Are we are we getting are we getting like the the normal stuff? Or are we doing stuff that normally we wouldn't say? Normally, you wouldn't say. Okay. <clears throat> um, getting my bedroom makes me happy. Getting to sleep in my bed and wake up in my bedroom makes me happy. Um, going and getting a bunch of groceries makes me happy. Um, I find joy in that. What if we tell you your next three? Each of us tell you what makes you happy. Okay. Okay, go, Brett. What makes Chelsea happy? Sleeping. Yeah. That kind of go okay. That kind of goes with what I. The, she said the bed already. Yeah, mm, but you're okay. right. Do another. Food. <laughs> you, she said that. that uh, was her are thing. you okay? You there? You listening? No. Um. He don't even know. Not driving. Yes. Yes. Brett. Yes, Brett, good. Brett, good. Brett. Brett. Yeah. Oh, if I don't have to drive somewhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's. That's it for me. That's <laughs> that's I find so much joy in some of you like I'll drive. I'm like, oh, oh god. Mm-hmm. Okay, Maggie. Um, a clean house with a fresh lit candle. You love that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're gonna say yawning, maybe. <sighs> yes. Oh, Maggie, yeah. Mm-hmm. You love to light a candle when the house yeah. is clean. Oh God. And uh you love rain. I almost said that. Whoa. At the beginning. You guys nailed it. Mm-hmm. Hey, good job. Let's get one of these. Yeah, let's you love that. wigs. Yeah. 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 hmm Penises. Do. Yeah. Love those. Big giant cocks. Yeah. Love them. Little tiny dogs. <gasps> love <clears> them. <throat> Corn mm-hmm. dogs from Sonic. I like those. I don't love. Cherry cre- or vanilla cream coke. You know what? We went to Sonic and they have this new thing. It's uh, like went viral on TikTok. So now they're like, they made it into something It's called a dirty your Coke, like dirty Dr. Pepper. Mm-hmm. And it says Dr. Pepper, cream, coconut, lime. It was so good. Mm. Hmm. 
Mm. Very good. It's hard for me to push away from the cherry limeade with cream. What makes you happy? Just little things, you know? Uh Uh-huh. Like, even seeing a butterfly. Uh Uh-huh. Um... Seeing my friends just hanging out, like, I just love, I love when there's no plans and you can just hang around and, like, have just a good time, no expectations. Maybe even, like, you could all be singing together and eating and and singing. uh, uh, Yeah, always snaps. Now, let's finish it off for Paige. I was about to say, you guys, you beat me to it, but you love eating. I don't think I've met anyone that loves eating more Mm -hmm. than you. Paige always has a snack. Oh, yeah. dude, you should see. And a snack that should take someone 20 seconds to finish, she'll hold it around for hours mm-hmm. and take a bite here and there. Leave it wrapped in a little napkin and uh-huh. place it in things. Uh huh. Loves eating. Mm-hmm. I mean, every time you look at her, she's got a snack. Sippy. Malt sippy. Yeah. A lot of cups. A lot of cups. A lot of cups. A yes. lot, of, lot of beverages. A lot of food. Always just surrounding her. Wow. Yeah. You guys are Malt observant. horty. Mm-hmm. Little malt horty. Little horty. Yeah. What else, Brett? What's something? That was a good so one. So it's weed? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that was a good one. Getting her hair All played with. Yeah. Loves, Massages. Loves nightly. little trinkets. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Little yeah. strawberry trinkets. She likes to be waited on. Yeah. I love many, many <laughs> things. Yeah. Many. Many and many things. <clears throat> yeah. Men. E. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I love men. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's loves do- crafting. Oh. Loves crafting. Okay. Picking. Loves picking. Loves to pick. Kelly yeah. Pickler. Kelly Pickler. Penelope. Yeah. yeah. She likes to wave her finger too, kind of. Okay. She I likes do to like conduct fish. Her. I, I do like to demand people <laughs> without speaking, just <laughs> pointing. She's a pointer sister. <clears throat> yeah. 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 And just, I would love for somebody to just know all my uh, demands. Fun. Fun. Yeah. What should we I? do Maggie and Brett this episode, <laughs> or should we wait till next episode? Yeah, we might not have time. Hmm. Oh, we just started. We can just do me. <laughs> Skin. Maggie says the, <laughs> she's got the kids and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, let's do that next time. We'll do y'all next time. Unless do us next time. We could skip some other things. Hello and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. We've all been there. You know, maybe you were packing your bags for Tammy's pontoon party and. That thing was just busting at the seams. You know, you're trying to fit everything in there. You guys. With base, there's room for everything. Okay, 15 pairs of underwear for a weekend trip? No problem. All right? Deciding between a few pairs of shoes? Hell, bring them all with base. If you've got any trips planned in the next few months, you have to check out Base. I feel like every time I went to the airport before I started using Base, I would notice their bags, like the Weekender or their suitcases, and I'd be like, ooh, next time that's going to be me, baby. They're really stylish and really cute because they just look so sleek and easy to use. And now it is me. That's right. If you see me scrolling through the airport, I am carrying base, okay? And I've been, and I listen, I paid for my base with my own money, okay? I've been using base for a couple years now. So when they came to us uh, wanting to do an ad on the Viral Pod, I said, ooh, Malt Licky, baby, I love this brand. Yes, yes, yes. Let me help out the rock truckers. Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make sleek and affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable you guys if you travel a decent amount there's a big difference between cheap old luggage and some good luggage okay and base has thought of everything you could ever want in a piece of luggage 360 degree gliding wheels got me throbbing just thinking about it a cushioned handle Yes, ma'am. Built-in weight inductor. Yes. Washable bags for your dirty clothes. Oh, that is um, that is awesome, dude. Right now, Base is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash viral. Go to basetravel.com slash viral for 15% off your first purchase. That's B-E-I-S Travel. Dot com slash viral. We have oh. big things planned. <laughs> <laughs>
We have big things. You know what? Let's big do, big let's, things. Let's do y'all at the end of the episode. Let's let's start some calls right now. Let's start mm. a call. Maggie, oh. roll that beautiful bean footage. Mm, smelly. Hey, honeys. Got a little question slash ask for you guys to do. Um, I was recently diagnosed with autism and I already have ADHD. It's a great combination. But it really made me start to think, I wonder if my beautiful, lovely ladies on the pod have it too. Not to, like, point fingers and not to, like, ruffle feathers. You know, I think it's a really awesome, wonderful thing to have. I have it my whole life. <laughs> but there is a test that can tell you if you have it. It's called the RADS R test. R A A D S slash R. RADS R test. And you can look it up online. It's totally free to take. And it's for women, especially those that have never been diagnosed before, to help them see if they're neurodivergent too. And I just figured you guys are hilarious. You guys all think like I think. So I want to know maybe you guys are spicy like me too. <clears throat> I don't know. Mm. Just I thought I'd put it out there. It'd be a cool, fun thing to try to see who is and who isn't. Let me know what you guys think. I love you, honeys. Keep doing what you're doing. We're going to take over the world. Yes. Oh, yeah. Love you, honeys. What a cool one. Well, we have a friend that has autism, and she's obsessed with autism. And guess what? She made us take that test. So we already know. Yeah. And I got it. Yeah. Should I share my number? Yeah. yeah. So apparently it's like one out of what, 200? No, if uh, if your score is 65 and above, that means you got autism. And the higher your score, the the more you're on that side of the spectrum, spectrum. or whatever. Oh, yeah. And the lower your score, the you don't have so, it yeah. or the least you have it, and I guess. And 65 and under, supposedly you don't have yeah. it. Yeah. So what'd you get? I got a whopping 96. Yeah. Yeah. You got a little tism. Got a little tizzy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little tizzy. Yeah. And then, and little then I, tizzy. what did I get? A 19? Yeah, you got 19. Beth got 13. Um, yeah. Which I thought I'd be a little higher maybe, but I was really low. Shorty got low, 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 low. Yeah, we got to make y'all take it. Yeah. I got a 50. It. You did get a 50? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Libby took it too, and she... She got like 77. Daniel's yeah. got like 106. And yeah. this is what I said after. I said... I think the reason I know I have autism is because I can also remember everybody in the crew's score. Yeah, that's, that's funny. You know. Yeah, yeah. Would you so, say that's a little bit of it, or no? Sure. Like what? I, those questions were very vague, also. So I feel like if a, you could retake that test a couple different times and get a different score, I don't know. They Absolutely. Were, I feel like I've changed hard. since I took it. Like what? I feel like I'm becoming more otzy. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> like smells are kind of starting to bug me a little more. He's from Australia. Brett. What? No, I feel <laughs> like if I took it again, I feel I don't it might change a little bit. Well, your yeah, smell and stuff just changes with age. Smell, taste, that has nothing to do with autism. That's just like life and age. Probably just depends on my personality at the time too. Okay. Brett, that I think you're thinking more of a blind person. Or if you're stoned or if you're not stoned <laughs> right. when you take it. Brett, yeah. you're, you're just high right now and you don't even know what you're saying. No. No, there could be a lot of factors involved, I feel, in these tests. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It would ask you if you knew almost how you felt when, what, 16 Certain. or below? And it was kind of hard for me to go back in that time because I don't remember my feelings a lot from, like, 16 yeah. and younger. Like, I feel like just recently I've been more in tune with, like, oh, I, why do I feel this way or, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've taken the test. Oh yeah. We yeah. we we mm. we got you beat, baby. We've already had it. Uh huh. Yeah, we just forgot to mention it. Yeah, we I don't know why we've yeah, I'm glad you called. Cause but, yeah, ha- too many Haley has autism and she is like she she says she makes everybody she meets and hangs out with take the test because she wants to know. Yeah, and we she were like, scored, okay. She scored a one fifty two. We were at dinner and she was like, you guys got to take this autism test. We're like, we haven't even ordered yet, bitch, but okay. (laughs) Chelsea took the test in probably 20 minutes and it took me the whole dinner. And I I was like, I'm not going to finish this test. And she's like, you have to. And I'm like, (laughs) this is something I cannot do out at dinner. Like, and reading these, it's 80 questions. I probably got it done in like. 
quicker than that. Yeah, you got it done <clears throat> so quick. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. We uh, have a couple friends I've sent it to, and they can't even take the test. They're And I'll check up on them. Hey, you done with the test? I want to know your score. Oh. And uh, they're like, I can't finish it. I don't. So, huh. what's that? I'm yeah. really wanting to know the score. Yeah, attention span, maybe. You know, it's because of because it is a long test. And I think maybe, the more you put it off, the more otzy you might be. And maybe of. they just don't want to take it. Yeah. Maybe they're busy. And another weird little thing we noticed is, okay, I've sent it to a lot of people. Okay. So I'll just say that. <laughs> but uh, people I've sent it to at the same time, they'll send it back at the same time, and their score is almost identical, like one off. So I'm like, maybe that has something to do with the, the time, you know? Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Well, honeys, thank you for calling in. Damn, I should do. I should be a study for this fucking mm-hmm. thing. Dang. We love you. Love you. Call ya. This is Jacob from Nashville. Woo. Um, so for any, uh, I love you, Chelsea and Paige. Y'all always like y'all have helped me get through so much, and because um, I listen to your podcast usually when I go to bed. Uh, or sometimes if I'm sleeping in my truck, but you know, I'm getting things, I'm getting things accomplished where things are getting better for me. But I just wanted to say that for guys out there that want to, to bust a nut, you should get a cock ring. Like seriously, a cock ring. Oh my God. What the, you put that cock ring on shit and all that blood just starts to go up. And, um, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and uh, just get the, all that pressure, and then when you bust a nut, oh my god, I feel like you you bust more of a nut if you have cock ring on because it makes your dick so hard and hmm. big. It makes like a very very big dick. And um, so I don't know, Chelsea and uh, Paige, do, does y'all men do they do that? Like, do they ejaculate on their own? Like, if they're not having if they're if if you are not having sex together do i know you chelsea have you know masturbate by yourself me too i do it all the time like every day because you always encourage us to do it so <laughs> does your guys do that or do they have a way of do they bust that too on their own they probably do but y'all guys get a call crane it really does make the experience a lot better it's a little it does kind of hurt a little bit and kind of a lot of pressure but it still makes you have a good sex experience anyways bye honey love y'all love you honeys you encourage <laughs> you encourage us to bust a nut that made my whole day this guy loves cock rings yeah, yeah he does he's trying to really he should work for adam and eve loves cock rings yeah. you know what's funny is they're called cock rings they're not called penis rings dick rings cock rings just go yeah it goes though so like Think about this. These people were in a board meeting trying to figure out what to call this, and someone's like, "Nah, we gotta call it cock cock rings." Cock rings. <laughs> I've never. I've never. I don't think Greg's ever used a cock ring. Brett tried. <clears throat> really? I think you told me y'all did. You showed it to me in a not little a, package. Not a cock ring. I think the little plastic said, one with the vibrator on top. That's different. I think you said Is you it? made it shrivel up. Yeah. He, yeah. You, he, he gets like scared with sex toys. No, this mm-hmm. is like a cock ring that like puts your cock and balls and. No, oh, no, no, it's just a little, you know how people get those uh, marriage, those wedding, rubber wedding rings, uh-huh. if they like lose their ring, it's kind of like that, but a little bigger so it can go over your cock. God, maybe I'm thinking about something I, else. You're thinking of I, I think a you whole did. contrapment. This is a simple rubber ring that goes around your cock. Yeah, but Maggie, it's not with the vibrator for the woman. This is something okay. else. Yes. Okay. I see what it is. And Brett tried the cock ring. Somebody gifted me one or something. How was it, Brett? I don't remember. I don't think it was that good. Oh, it's okay. too tight. Yeah, he uh, said it was too tight, but yeah. maybe give it time. Or, hmm. Yeah, give it a little bit of time. <clears throat> Do y'all still have the cock ring? Yeah, I think we could bring it. Bring it? Over here. What sh- Did you want to look at it? Well, no. Just wanted to know if you had it. Yeah. It's probably laying around. I think it is laying around somewhere in your closet, Brett? I don't know. I don't know where it is. That's fucking funny, dude. We have, like, dildos and random shit just yeah. everywhere, and I don't know where they came yeah. from. No, I... Gre- oh, we bust nuts all the time. I'm sure Greg jacks off. I am I know he does. You know what I mean? We. I don't give a fuck. 
yeah, Brett jacks off to cream pies. I don't oh, know yeah. what Greg does, but that's yeah. kind of a new thing. New thing. Yeah. Cream well, pie. Well, you guys are in LA. So yeah. Just... Yeah. So Brett's been jacking off. Everybody masturbates around here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is important to get that nut and. He, that's yeah. cool. He's trying to help people out get that extra nut. Yeah, I guess you nut harder. Okay, so if you've never if you never used a cock ring, I guess he's saying give it a try. And Don't they sleep can't on be it. too expensive. Go to AdamandEve.com. Yeah. Oh, I bet no, they're not expensive at all. No, two get bucks. You, get yourself yeah. a cock ring, honeys. If not, a rubber band. Use a hair tie. Use a rubber. <laughs> rubber. <laughs> Anything. No. Go. We're responsible. I for know. It. I know. I saw a stranger. My strange addiction, where he um, tried to make his cock look bigger, and he tied something to it, and then he ended up dying. He cut off a. Cock. What? Yeah, hmm. cut off an artery. TLC aired that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. They'll air anything. Yeah, they <laughs> will. TLC. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling in, honeys. Love you. Love if you, you. If you ever see us around Nashville, say hi. Love you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Who knew that a better pillowcase is all you need for better sleep? Tell you what, I didn't know that. <laughs> Let's talk about practicing self-care while you sleep. You guys, set yourself up with better sleep with Blissey's award-winning 100% Mulberry Silk pillowcases. Okay, I had never heard of Mulberry Silk before, and I also didn't know they were giving out awards for pillowcases. That's cool. Seriously, silk is what's best for your hair and skin. It reduces frizz, tangles, and prevents breakage. That's because it keeps the moisture in your hair. Interesting, huh? And keeps your skincare products and natural moisturizers on your skin. Listen, we're not going to malt wasty, okay, products. We're not going to do that. Say goodbye to wrinkles, dry, flaky, and red skin in the morning and wake up to healthier, shinier hair. And there's something else I want to talk to you guys about. There's a lot of dupes out there, okay, and they claim that satin can be an, can be an alternative to silk, okay? But that's not the case, all right? Satin is made from synthetic fibers like polyester, while silk is a luxurious all natural fiber baby silk is more breathable you know it's it's more moisturizing it's gentle um it's also durable and long lasting think of it as an investment in getting better sleep and waking up feeling ready to take on the day and you guys these blissy pillowcases are made of 100 percent mulberry silk which is naturally hypoallergenic okay and they're machine washable, baby. Malt licky, baby. I just like personally that it doesn't absorb my skincare at night. I've been really big into skincare here lately. You know, hey, honeys, 40 and th- uh, three years here. And I've been really into like all my creams and potions and stuff. And I love this pillowcase because it doesn't suck all that up. I'm not wasting money. Everybody loves them. Okay. They have a ton of different prints and colors and they make great gifts because there's an option for literally anyone and men love them too they have over 1 million raving fans and you could be next try now risk free for 60 nights at blissy.com slash viral pod and get an additional 30 percent off that's b-l-i-s-s-y dot com slash viral pod and use code viral pod to get an additional 30 percent off your skin and hair will thank you hey honeys a uh, new listener here of about a month but i'm obsessed with you and i've already watched up to 56 and Aww. the recent episodes but love you guys just wanted to say uh kind of need some advice or just kind of direction about six months ago the person i was seeing passed away tragically on a vacation and he was actually my brother's best friend and my brother didn't know that we were fucking for about six months prior and then at the service I mean he told me that he was like divorced I was at his wedding my brother was like the best man and my other brother was the usher like I I knew this guy since I was a kid 
And, like, we always had that energy that we wanted to, like, fuck. But, like, I thought it was just me until he got separated and we started hanging out and things just happened. But, uh, basically, sorry, I'm, like, shaking just because I love you guys. And I know I don't want to be the girl that cries, but uh, my brother, when he told me that he passed away, he blamed me and then, like, fought me. And I kicked him in the balls. He didn't react, so I always thought that would work. Uh, but he took my car keys and then, like, slit my throat with the keys. And basically, I ran to a fire station, and I haven't talked to him since September. And I don't know. It's just been really hard for my parents because we all live in the same city. And, like, at Christmas and Thanksgiving, I just leave. And I feel bad, but, like, I don't want to hang around with a family member that literally assaulted me. Uh, so I just want to know, like, if you think I'm in the wrong for not talking to my brother anymore or if you think maybe he was just reacting to the tragic news. <clears throat> um, just need some advice here because it's been about six months. We still haven't talked. And he got me a Christmas present, and I just threw it away. <laughs> uh, and I don't really feel that bad, but then when other people – talk about their families or people they've lost, it kind of makes me feel bad, but I don't know. I just want some kind of guidance because it's still fresh, but oh, I just love you guys, and I just found you, and I'm going to call about some dick stories right after this, so wait for a part two. Love you guys. Oh, can I get an oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love ya. Love you, honeys. Wow. Whoa. A lot to unfold. A lot going on there, honeys. First off, thank you for being a new fan, a new rock fucker, and listening to the pod. Thank you for that. Yes, I agree. We need you. Um, <sighs> damn, dude. So you She's in a pickle. You fucked your brother's bestie, and he passed away tragically on a cruise, and then your brother slit your throat with a car key. But, brother blamed her for him dying. But what? Uh, what had happened, I wonder? I need almost more info. I don't know. It, bro, it sounds like he was just upset over the death, took it out on you, y'all fought, but a uh, slit in your throat with keys? That's a little out of line. Brother. Brother, you... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd probably... Part of me is like, damn... I'm a very forgiving person, though. I'd probably be mad for a while, and then I'd be like, okay, here's the deal. If you had previous problems with him, y'all weren't close, He's he had showed aggression before, y'all had gotten, you know, if, the, if this was, like, not shocking, I'd be like, bro, I'm out. Sorry, this was the final straw. But if he was a good dude and y'all had, like, y'all had a great brother-sister relationship, yeah, you know what I mean? I would be bond. like, I would cool off and then be like, we got to talk about this. You know what yeah. I mean? like, And maybe he could say, hey, I'm sorry, slit your throat with the Dodge Charger key. Right. Like, that was uncalled for, but... <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't think you're wrong for being upset and not want to talk to him, though. And just the fact that you're getting blamed for a death, though, that's a whole other aspect. Right. Just, you know, what happened there, and then... Uh, huh. That makes like, me think that he... Yeah, he just was just taking it out on her and was upset, because you can't... That's not her fault. Yeah. You, know? you don't want to lose your sister too. Right. Right. I don't think you're ups I don't think you're wrong for feeling the way you feel and not wanting to fuck with him. I do think that if you don't want him in your life, that's okay. But I do feel like if it's bothering you and you're like, hey, so we need to talk about this at least or something, then I think you should. What if the Christmas gift just had a key in it and it was you have a brand new car? <laughs> Stop. Oh my God. Yeah, dude, that's a wild ass story, dude. Holy hell. Gosh, dude. Can you imagine? Oh, no. Well, actually, Jerry was kind of. Oh, did, yeah, Jerry. Jerry was putting like freaking knives through the doors. Jesus Christ. Those oh, are yeah. your kids, though. Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine growing up with Jerry. Oh, dude, I can't he was imagine having a brother. Me out, no. giving me black eyes. I was. We were always fighting. I it cannot was fun. imagine having a brother, dude. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> It'd be weird. It would. Yeah. Having oh another sibling that was a boy. Oh, that'd be so, so close to you in age. That'd be so weird, dude. Oh God. Well, I'm, dude. I'm sorry that you're going through this. Yeah, that's a lot to. If it were me, no, I wouldn't feel bad about you not talking to him and 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 distancing yourself. If it were me, I'm putting myself in your shoes and thinking about Maggie and Beth. That this happened, we have such a good relationship that I would be like, okay, it's time to be like, hey. Uh, can we talk about you uh, slit in my throat? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it, it's so hard to bring up because it's like, can I we, can't believe it happened. Right. Hmm. You know? so That one is interesting. I interesting. wish you the best of luck, yes. though. And if you did have a good relationship, I hope you can re right. rekindle it. Uh, That's got to be one of the worst sibling fights. Th- that 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 tops. I don't know. Call in if you have a sibling fight that can top this. Yeah, I, I, that's that's. I'd love to hear your sibling. And they're adults. They're not kids doing this right. shit. Yeah, at any age. Just what's been one of the yeah. Worst. I, would, I would I would love to hear some sibling, just some sibling shit. That'd be fun. Siblings are the best. Right. <laughs> Well, you, love you, honeys. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I love, love you. you. And thank you for calling in. Good luck, honeys. Love you. This is the last call. Oh, it's the last call, right? <clears throat> hey, honey bunnies. I am on the way to work right now, and I'm eating those toaster strudels. Mm. I've been watching <laughs> your podcast again for the second time. I'm watching them all over. And I think I was on, like, the 19th or 20th one. 20th episode where you guys were talking about somebody that called in and said that she thought that she had herpes. And I have a little story time for you guys. Um, I was with somebody for 10 years since I was very young and I was married to them and I begged them and begged them for a baby, but he was just never ready. He made me wait the entire 10 years once he finally decided that he wanted to have a baby. We got pregnant. And when my son was three months old, he decided that he didn't want to be together anymore and divorced me. Mm. And I was completely heartbroken. Mm. I was faithful to that man. I was a good wife to that man. And when I got divorced, I kind of went crazy. And I found an old high school friend and I started hooking up with him. And I knew him pretty well. We grew up together. But um, a few months later... After hooking up, I found out that I had herpes. And also, here's the kicker, I found out I was pregnant (laughs) at the same exact time. And it was very emotionally hard because I didn't know anything about it. And I was ashamed. And now it's been two years Um, since that happened. My daughter just turned one, and I'm pregnant again. And I've lived with herpes now for two years almost. And you guys are amazing for how accepting you are. And it just made me feel so good that you guys educated people that it's not a big deal, that it's okay. And I still struggle with it. Sorry. I just wanted to tell you guys thank you. You were amazing. I love you so much. Have a good day. Sorry, honeys. I love you. Bye. Oh, honeys, I love you. Oh, that's so damn Bless sad. her heart. She's got those pregnancy hormones. <laughs> Bless her heart. Damn. Here's dude, the thing. Just... I've been getting cold sores on my motherfucking mouth since I was six months old. Yes. Okay. Growing up, it was such a. Oh, you know, if you got herpes, you were nasty. If you got if you got genital herpes, you were nasty. You were a whore. You were this. You were that. That is just lies. There is no difference, literally, medically, between having them on your mouth and having them down there. There's just no difference. And it's just life. But having them on your mouth is socially acceptable. It's not, you're not looked at, you know, nobody wants them. But most people have mouth or vaginal herpes. Mm-hmm. That's just the way it is. 
You could have sex with one person one time and get herpes. It's just the way it is. <laughs> you could have a cold sore and, uh, you know, even, even it's just, just not popping up or just not going away. And you go a little malt down and get a little malt leaky. And guess what? You got the herp. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing. It can just happen with one lick. And everybody's got to chill. Mm-hmm. I mean. Nobody wants it, but if you got it, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes you don't want to get sick, but you, you're around the wrong people. And you know how many people have it that don't know they have it? Everyone in this <laughs> room. Pro- probably. <laughs> yeah. Pro- I mean, literally so many people. That's how, that's how so many people get it because it's spread. You never have an outbreak. You never know. And you pass it on and you get it and it just shouldn't be looked down. No, bro. Mm -hmm. It it just who cares? Yeah, who gives a fuck? I just seriously, who gives a fuck, dude? It's just yeah, I just hope that if you have it, you you don't feel like you're a whore, you're Mm -hmm. nasty, whatever. And if if you don't have it, dude, calm down if people you know what I mean? Like don't just chill. Yeah. If you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> right. Accentuate that shit. What else are you going to do? Make it a positive. <laughs> right. I don't know. I just feel like we've always talked about that. Like, who cares? Like, yeah. Most people have it. It's not It's not going to hurt you, kill you. You know, you're it, not a fucking slut. You're not this. You're n- people no, bro. literally People literally think that, oh, she, she slept with 100 people, but right. she has a herp. Right. Right. Mm-mm. Oh, what's that? What the hell? Sorry. The kids, the kids. Every every episode, Maggie's got an alarm that goes off. I have like six for every day for stuff that I need to do because oh, yeah. I forget everything. Yeah. Oh. And That's when we're funny. filming, I forget to turn it off. That's, funny. That's kind of a cool noise one. I'm well, sorry that you had to go through all that, though, mm-hmm. and like alone, too, mm-hmm. because truly enough, people don't talk about herpes and right. or just, you know, spread awareness on freaking anything right. that should be talked about you know like postpartum all of it so exactly yeah sorry you had to go through that and hopefully more people call in and spread exactly. herpes awareness exactly and and thank you for the support and we love you back honeys we love you so much and and thank- hey, i was wondering something yeah brett oh, yeah like i was hoping we could maybe do our own study like so you're talking about the mouth herpes uh-huh I've never had one. Yeah. So does that mean I'm maybe immune to that? Because could be. I mean. So does that mean I can't get? I'm immune to genital herpes too. Maybe? I I don't know. Some people will like go their whole life without getting her mouth herpes though, and then one day one will just pop up. Well, so it can be like anything. I feel like. And yes, and a lot of people have the strain in their blood, but never have. An mm-hmm. outbreak on their genital or a cold sore. So you could technically have it and pass it along and not know you have it. That's how everybody has it. It gets spread. That's how it gets spread. Because you don't show it, so you don't know it. Right. Okay. I, now listen. We need a herpy person here. Well, listen. You know, we need I think all of that. I'm not an expert. This is just from my understanding. So I don't want a bunch of people oh, spreading medical information <laughs> <laughs> yeah that calm was. down we're gonna do this, our own study this is from my understanding i'm open to comments yeah nobody i mean you know what i mean so um and, and for the longest time i didn't know that if you had a uh cold sore? cold sore and you went down on someone or whatever that they could get genital herpes i didn't know that you told me that a I couple know. months ago i had no idea yep, yep. That's a thing. So. And I hear too, you you know, like people think, oh, a condom's a barrier. But I hear, you know, herpes Ex- get through that. So, exactly. I mean, I've heard that so too. So is the barrier reef. Right. I've heard yeah. that too. Barrier reef. So herpes, I mean, what you going to do? <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I'd much rather have one on a pussy lip than my fucking mouth lip. Because it's hidden, covered. You got to. Dude, I've been getting, I have so many school pictures where I have a huge ass cold sore. It's like, ugh, like they suck, man. Yeah, because, yeah, that would, do they hurt? You yes. Think? Yeah. Sometimes yes, they look they painful. Hurt. Like Tina will share her thing and it looks painful. Mm-hmm. They hurt. I mean, some don't. And then some, if you, if you feel it coming on and you nip it with some abreva or whatever, it's not that bad. But if you have a big one and you just let it, it can, it can hurt. 
I would be picking at it. Mm. Mm. Oh, I, you I, can't. I'm page. so happy I don't get them yet. It's I, like a sore. Yeah, yeah. But Gosh. you know, hey, listen. Wait. So if I licked your butthole and you get cold sores, am I gonna get something? If she had a cold sore on her butthole. Yeah. <laughs> if I had, if I had the hurt down there. Can you yeah. get it on your butt? Yeah, I'm sure you can get it on your butthole. Yeah, it's all it's all da- it's all anal the same. warts, or any warts. Anal but hurt. isn't it when you only have an outbreak? Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. You mentioned on a long time ago about some TikToker who's just really yes. informed on herps. Yep, we should get him in here. Oh, he's messaged me a million times about it. Herping and chirping. We Her- need some herpy person. Herping and chirping. And listen, I just want to say something, and this goes for everyone in the world and everyone listening right now. Mm. Hey, we're all just trying to do our best. So cut people, cut some people some slack. Yeah, too many holes to take care of and, mm-hmm. you know, focus on. And and most importantly, cut yourself some slack. Yeah, to all the people making fun of people with herpes or this or that. Fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> and this is not even just herp. Just in general, cut people some slack and take it easy on yourself. Take it easy for real. Cut yourself some slack. Brain's and, powerful. We're, we're all so hard on ourselves. And we're just doing the best we can. <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. You know what I mean? It's just, let's just chill. Take it easy on yourself. Take it easy. Listen to Adele right now. Ooh. Go easy on me and have a wonder. Go is, that the, is that the last call? No. Well, that oh. is the last call, but, yeah. we, but we have to end it with um, Maggie and Brett um, naming off two things that bring them oh, happiness, and okay. then we finish it off. So we are doing it this yeah. episode. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Maggie. Um, something I can think off the top of my head is going to be uh, my vehicle Yeah, being clean. Ooh. That makes detail. me so happy. Mm-hmm. You're right. Um, okay. Another something one. Else. Something else. Mm-hmm. When the kids don't have school and I can sleep in and not nice. have to get up, every nice. Morning, that makes me happy. Okay, I bet a lot of moms can relate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right, dad. something that I know, Maggie, that brings Maggie happiness. Um, a good old antique store slash uh, estate sale. Yep. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. With a Starbucky. Yes. Yeah. I would say when she gets a good assortment of food items on a plate, you know, she really enjoys like every bite she okay. takes. Okay, assortment of things. Yeah. When she's e- when Maggie eats, she'll go mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with the every bite. Time. She'll go ma'am, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> and just be shaking her head, and she just mm-hmm. really enjoys it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Brett, you got something? Elf bars. Well, elf bars. Oh, vapes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that a vape? Yeah. Oh, okay. An elf bar. I didn't know if that was like a candy bar. <laughs> Those don't make me happy, though. Oh, really? really? I want to quit. Okay, you need to quit. Makes you saddy. Makes me Probably mul- taking a poop. Mul- makes you happy. Brett, you don't know shit about me. <laughs> I can't shit half the time. <laughs> Brett. You know what I'm saying? When she here? shits, it's rare, so it makes her happy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. you're right. Okay. All right, good job, Brett. Yeah. Hey, you, you like it. your truck? Yeah, uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I hate to be this person, but y'all really do got to quit vaping. Huh? Did y'all hear about that stuff that's causing people? No, what is it? Oh, it's Happiness? Call, it's called, it's after called the, something. After we get back um, from the cruise. From the we're cruise. Pre, we're pre recording. I know. The I, I, I screwed up. <laughs> damn, the cruise was a damn seven months ago. I know. <laughs> it's all I'm right. Quit. I'm going to try to quit. Good. We're going on another cruise. It's causing um, people to like, it's called something and it's like, it hurts for them to breathe. Like young people. Like a respiratory? Yes, but it's different. I, I I forgot what it was called. Probably vapatory or something. But it's Probably like the bootleg vapes. I saw a big old thread where people were like, "Oh, I got it," and like I it, it every breath I took for six months was painful. It's just like fuck, dude. Dude, dang. When I was home during the holidays, my sister lost her vape, and freaked our whole fucking family. Like went on eggshells. She could. She was freaking the fuck out, and oh, we all just everyone just like left. Because it was so wild. I, I was like, I don't ever want to be around people who lose a fucking vape again. Well, I don't ever want to be myself addicted to something that if I lose something, it freaks, it causes a big fucking issue. Making everyone check their pockets a million times. I'm like, I swear I don't have it. She probably yeah. has it. He probably has it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, there was a cop 
Oh. Like down the road, just waiting to pull people over. And so when my sister was leaving, I was telling her like, hey, there's a cop like hike because we already got pulled over on yeah. the way over to my mom's. But when I was telling my sister this after she couldn't fucking find her vape, she's like, I don't fucking care. Damn. Justice is driving my niece. Yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah. Just told the sister who it was. But uh, but yeah, it was really crazy. I've never seen something like that. Yeah, I never want to be so connected to something that I can't think. Yeah. Even co- like coffee, sometimes coffee drink. I Nope. I'm good. Let's do Brett. Brett, what's two things that make you happy? Uh, sunsets and the uh, sunrise. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Staring um, at it. Okay. Gotta stare at it. I think that um, you looking in the mirror and playing with your mustache makes you happy. To your bath back there? Yeah. Does it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I yes. think I think compliments on your mustache. Anything involving your mustache, waxing it, people compliment on it, it, it makes you happy. Yeah, it brings smiles. Okay. Feel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, compliments. It's <laughs> such he a loves. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good conversation starter. Yeah. What y'all got? He loves when people do things for him, or you know, just anything for him. Attention. He, yeah. That's what he he loves. Okay. Like, or he'll love it just if people do things. F- like, if my hair was red right now, he would think that's for him because he wants somebody with red hair, and that would like <laughs> turn him on. Okay. Make him so happy because is that control or what? What's that called? <laughs> We're going way off off here. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What's one thing that yeah, just makes that? Me happy? It's like. <laughs> It's like that, oh, though. Like, okay. that's how All I describe it. It's just like so, if somebody will change for him, I guess. Okay. All right. Maggie, you got something? <laughs> <laughs> so you like attention. If people will change for you. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Sunsets. And, um, <laughs> I love how Brentless sunsets and me and you are, are like, he loves it. <laughs> he loves, oh, oh, I love my Jetson. You yeah. love your Jetson. Yeah, you yeah. love your Jetson. Yeah. Roller yeah. skating. I would okay. say you love uh, going to islands by yourself. That's true. And posting uh, about it for myself, months. Not by myself, you know. And posting about it for months. And you, and you love being uh, um, in charge of the music. Yeah. At all times. <laughs> We're I just love listen, control. We're listening off things he controls. Yeah. One word control. You're, like, you're the can I have the aux cord guy. Um, this mm. reminds me of the episode we did of Slits Only where we all switched spots. We need to do that again. Mm-hmm. Chelsea, you talk about that like every episode. You I, love that so much. That was so much fun. <laughs> Chelsea talks mm. about this and lunch ladies more than anything <laughs> on the planet. We dude. need to do a part two of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. let's let's do that. Okay. All right. Well, so, guys. Was I gonna lean forward or no? Okay. Do you want to do you want to end the no, pod? No, I'm just kidding. You could end the pod. What sh- should people call in with? Um, man. Oh, I got one. What? If anybody in your family has ever killed or was a serial killer, holy shit! Give us Whoa. a call. Oh, my mom works with somebody very interesting, but I'll save it for next episode. Thank you guys so, so much. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for here. tuning in. We love you. Love you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for helping us take over the world. Oh, keep spreading. Keep y'all the good word. We super love our spreaders. super spreaders. We oh. love our super spreaders. Oh, gosh. Love you guys. All right. And our phone number is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And, and fuck, fuck what everybody, everybody else thinks. Get ready. 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 We're going viral. Get ready. Yes, that was awesome. Mm, Woo! Mm, How do you suck, baby?